You know, the next police superintendent will be one of the most important decisions that Mayor Brandon Johnson will make after the search committee makes its recommendation on three finalists next month. That process, though, now facing some tough scrutiny. As Chicago continues to struggle to get weekend violence under control, the search for the next superintendent takes on an ever-increasing sense of importance. 19 older persons penning a letter raising concerns about why a highly qualified candidate, Chief of Patrol Brian McDermott, a 28-year veteran, was never given a formal interview. We need the most qualified candidate to assume the role of the police superintendent. And I'm concerned that Chief McDermott was not given an interview. His credentials would at least warrant that. We know a number of people are starting to come forward after they have been dismissed by this body, um, leading us to wonder what exactly they're using as qualifications. Anthony Driver Jr., the head of the search committee, saying as of this afternoon he still had not formally received the letter, although he has read it. There's a lot of political pressure now um, because of this letter, um, but I will say that our commission will remain independent. I'm very proud of our process. I'm 100% confident that every T has been crossed, every I has been dotted, and we've treated every single person fairly. Driver said he has a lot of respect for McDermott, but says he would not be getting an interview due to political pressure. At this point, we're about 80% done with our process. We are wrapping up our process. We're very close to being able to submit three names to Mayor Johnson. We will meet or exceed that deadline. Um, so my, my short answer to you is no. I think uh, the reaction from the residents of the 13th Ward is one of support of, of, of the chief. Um, and I think it's fair to say that their voices were ignored. Mayor Brandon Johnson said older persons have a right to question the process, but he would not question the commission's search criteria. I believe it would not be appropriate for me to make any determination about a criteria um, or a rubric um, that this particular independent body has the full authority to make those determinations. Now, the search committee has until July 14th to present three finalists to the mayor and city council for consideration. The list has reportedly been narrowed to six. Driver hopes that when those three finalists are announced, it will validate the commission's search and vetting process. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.